Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm back in the garden again today and when I did my initial garden tour with you, I was talking to you about some of the invasive species that were planted in the garden. One of them was garlic mustard. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but behind me, that's all garlic mustard. And I need to get rid of it before it starts to seed. Um, so I started the other night and I didn't get very far. It got too dark. And also, can we peep my hat for a second? My husband got me this and he said, when we got our house, he said, I can see you out in the garden in this and I just love it. It's so cute. Um, so I did my research on garlic seed. It's invasive. It's damaging to the environment. Um, it grows, so one of the problems with it is that it will grow and then it will shade the um, other vegetation around it. Um, so they won't be able to get any sunlight and it will stunt their growth. Another thing about it is, um, I'm just peeping some yellow flowers over there. I don't know what they are. I'm easily distracted if you haven't noticed. Um, uh, what was the other thing? They let off like a chemical that is bad for other plants once it gets into the ground. And so what you're supposed to do is um, plant it. So not plant it that would defeat the purpose. You're supposed to pull it up. It um, comes up in April to May, which it's clearly doing now. And I can't believe, I cannot believe how much it has grown since I was out here just a few days ago. It is several inches taller than it was. It's incredible. I can't believe how fast it's growing. Um, so you're supposed to take it out by the root, which is pretty simple to do. Like I, I cleared this spot here and the one behind me for the most part. Um, you're supposed to bag it and throw it away. You're not supposed to compost any of this. Obviously you don't want the seeds getting in your compost and then creating another huge problem. The thing with this is that it can take several years to eradicate. Um, so one of the things I love about gardening is it's super peaceful. I I love pulling weeds. <laughs> I don't know why. I find it relaxing. I get can get really anal re about it and just like make sure I get every single little one. So like all I could, all I thought about today was coming home to get in my garden so I could get this mustard garlic out of my garden. Um, so I'm gonna start picking that now. Also, I have this other plant here that I think I need to do a tiny bit more research on it. I think it's a poison hemlock. I'm not sure. I gotta check the roots and um, I can't remember. I wrote down either if the roots are, do have hairs on them or if they don't. That's how you can know for sure because it's part of the carrot family. Um, so I have to check that. And then another thing that I have growing in here, which I don't know if I'm gonna keep or not, is uh, goldenrod. So goldenrod it can be confused a lot with um, ragweed, which I actually, I did not know there was a difference, but goldenrod has a ton of beneficial uses for planting in your garden. Um, I don't know. I'm on the fence about whether or not I'm going to keep it. I can't decide. Um, it just reminds me so much of ragweed, which I am highly allergic to. I just, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Plus it's so sporadic throughout the garden, so we'll see. And there's a couple other things I've seen. I think there's a foxglove over there. I'm gonna check out and see what these yellow flowers are. So for now, I'm just gonna plug away and get these garlic mustards out of here. Um, so I'll check in with you in a bit and let you know how my progress is going. Okay, so I just looked up the yellow flower and I'm surprised it's, it's a greater celandine, which I have looked up before because there's some in other parts of my garden and I didn't realize it was over here too. So, plus, I read that the flowers don't bloom until June, so I was surprised to see them. So this, I believe, is also invasive. I don't know with the light if you're going to be able to get a really good idea of what it looks like. That might be, that might be a little better. Um, it's a great celandine. I think I'm saying that right, and it appears to be all over the place, <laughs> which I guess. At this point, I really shouldn't be shocked. Um, I know this has medicinal. I know the light's terrible right now. I know this has medicinal and uh, properties like that, I believe. 
I have to do my research and more homework about it. They are beautiful. There is a, another patch behind me, so I might keep it. I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, so for now, I'll keep it until I can do more homework. But until then, I'm just going to keep plugging away at the garlic mustard. So because of the fact that I am easily distracted, it takes me extra long to do anything in the garden, which is fine for me because this is one of my favorite places. Um, but since all of this is new to me, it's our first spring here, I don't know what anything is. Um, I'm trying to identify this. I don't know if it's garlic, if it's an onion, I have no idea what it is and the plant identifier app is not being any help to me. So if you know and can tell me, help me figure it out um, because they're everywhere. If they're useful to me and I can eat them or use them in my kitchen, um, I don't want to get rid of them all, but I mean, they literally, they're everywhere, scattered all throughout the, the garlic mustard and everything. Um, another thing that I should mention is that I should be wearing gloves, especially if, um, if that plant over there is a poison hemlock because I don't want to get any of it on my hands. I just hate wearing gloves when I'm in the garden, but I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and go get some gloves on. So I can at least get rid of that. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna get rid of it regardless. I don't know if it's a poison hemlock or not. Um, there are hairs on it, which I think, I think if there were hair on the stem, then it wasn't a, a poison hemlock and it's, it's a relative of the carrot family. I think just to be sure, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna plant carrots anyway, so uh, I can't imagine carrots would be growing there right now? I have no idea, so I think I'll just get rid of it. There are so many little sprouts of this garlic mustard in here that it's going to take me forever. It's going to be hours. Um, the good thing about pulling them up in the spring is that the soil is um, pretty loose, so they come out pretty easily by the roots. But I mean, and I don't know if all of this is, is garlic mustard. Either way, it all has to come out. So. I'm gonna be here a while. Can we talk for a second about how lovely this moss is? It's so soft and plush, and it would only be more perfect if there was like a tiny mushroom growing on it. Oh, there's a little, there's a little potato bug in there. What do you call them? Do you call them potato bugs? I know some people call them pill bugs or roly-polies. They're always potato bugs to me. This is why things take me so long, because I'm distracted by things that give me serotonin. So I guess it's not all a bad thing. One of the ways that you can identify this greater celandine plant is by the sap that it produces and puts out. So I, I knocked this over on accident. And I forgot that I had read that this orangish, yellowish sap comes out of this plant. Um, I don't know, I probably mentioned this is also invasive and hard to get rid of and spreads very easily once it, go, once it goes to seed. Um, I know that this used to be, the sap used to be used medicinally like for warts and things like that, but I know that it can be an irritant to the skin, so I'm not gonna touch it or put it on anything. Um, so I'm still on the fence about whether or not I'm going to keep this one. Some of these garlic mustard plants are pretty mature compared to the other ones. And I swear, when I was back here last, these probably grew like six inches. But it's pretty easy to get the entire root system out of these bigger plants. And the smaller ones, they literally just pull right out of the ground. Um, another thing I didn't mention about garlic mustard is that it can be eaten. It needs to be cooked first though because it contains cyanide, which is enough for me to never ever eat it. 
Okay, so it's getting late. I'm running out of daylight. I'm happy with the progress that I made. Um, I know it probably doesn't look like much, but I got a ton of the garlic mustard cleaned out of here. Verdict is still out on what these here are. I think they're onions. I There's a bunch of calendula there. I have not decided. It's not calendula. It's that other one that I mentioned earlier and I can't think of the name right now so I'm just gonna move on um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with that yet I don't know if I'm gonna dig it up or not but my main goal today was just to dig up as much of the garlic mustard as I can so I got pretty far I got pretty far back here I found an old shovel that's been back here for God knows how many years um, I, I just don't know how long it's been since this has ever really been taken care of that well. So I'm glad that I can come in and take care of it. Um, I had a lot of fun in the garden tonight and I'm looking forward to being able to come back and garden again. The, and the weather looks great for the next several days. So hopefully I can get the rest of this cleaned out and I can just start moving on with the next thing. Um, I do wanna show you an update of what my husband was able to get done, which looks amazing, and I'm so happy with it. Um, he was able to till out some of the garden. So this is will be ready for me to plant vegetables in. I feel like I'm behind. I feel like I need to get things in the ground, or I'm going to be behind schedule. This still all needs to be tilled up and cleaned out. There's some more garlic mustard over here. Um, but so far, so good. Looks awesome. I'm really happy with it. I'm really excited. It was so sad that I couldn't get back here to garden last year. So I'm really excited and looking forward to getting back here, planting my own vegetables, being able to provide for my family. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I had a good time, and I will see you next time.